Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our webinar today. Uh, my name is Turner Arbor. I'm an economic development manager for the Pasco Economic Development Council. Um, I'm here today um, as part of Global Tampa Bay. Um, Global Tampa Bay is a regional partnership between Hillsborough, Pinellas, and Pasco counties to promote uh, export trade um, from the Tampa Bay area uh, overseas. And uh, as part of that, our next uh, focus market is going to be the Dominican Republic. Uh, we'll be doing an export trade mission there in September. And as a prelude to that mission, uh, we figured it'd be a great idea to uh, help our local companies uh, understand the market, um, learn about the services available to them um, as they expand into not just that market, but any foreign market through services offered through SBDC and U.S. commercial services. So today we're going to do a, an overview of the market itself. And the different services available, as well as uh, an overview of the export mission in September. Um, so, to that end, we're going to start with a remarks from the senior commercial officer, uh, Eric Wolf from the U.S. Embassy in Santo Domingo, and uh, he'll then throw it over to uh, Justin Tap for the uh, Embassy for the Market Overview. So, over to Eric. Hey, thank you, Turner. And um, uh, you know, I'm going to try to keep it very short, but I, I just wanted to. Uh, send everyone a, a hearty welcome uh, and just convey our excitement about the upcoming uh, trade mission to the Dominican Republic. This is a dynamic market in a very, very important region. Justin's going to get into the details about the market overview, uh, but I just wanted to assure you we uh, I have an amazing staff here. Uh, we work very closely with uh, uh, you know Enterprise Florida, Global Tampa Bay, our friends in throughout Florida for many, many years. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing successes. Um, so uh, so with that, we're here. Um, uh, any questions that you have, feel free to reach out to me. I'm gonna leave most of this to Justin. Uh, Sheila Diaz is also a very important part of our staff who's gonna be covering this mission. And uh, again, um, uh, very, very excited. So with that, um, I guess I will turn it over to Justin. All the best. Hi, thank you, Eric. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, hope you're having a, a wonderful week so far. And uh, we're very excited to host this trade mission. Uh, we were very excited uh, to hear uh, the direct flights have opened up between Tampa and the Dominican Republic. Um, we look forward to the increase in commerce and uh, travel between our two locations. And it's going to be an honor to host you all. Um, we could go to the next slide, please. Thank you. So just a little overview of our office. So it's uh, uh, the senior commercial officer, uh, Eric Wolf. Uh, when you arrive in September, we will have a new uh, senior commercial officer, uh, Jen Kane, uh, who will be here to greet you. Uh, our office, um, you know, ha we have two officers and, and six local staff uh, who are very dedicated uh, and, and experts in their field. Uh, Sheila Diaz, uh, in particular, uh, was working to coordinate this trade mission. She has years of experience doing this, and she's very excited about it. Um, our office actually covers um, the entire Caribbean. So we have memorandums of understanding with seven other embassies in the region. Um, so Bahamas, Barbados, Guyana, IT, uh, Jamaica, Suriname, and Trinidad and Tobago, uh, where they can provide commercial services on our behalf and we help coordinate with them at th through our partners in the State Department. Um, so, you know, if you put the Caribbean together, you know, individual countries in the Caribbean are thought of as small, but when you put them all together, it creates a rather large market. Um, you know, it's not quite the size of, of Brazil yet, um, but with Guyana's growth, it may eventually get there. Um, but it is, you know, kind of like a, a decent sized European country. So U.S. export market share to the region is at least 35 percent with $25 billion in, in exports. Um, and we've had a lot of commercial successes in, in various areas uh, here. Um, and we can also help support other markets in the region like the Dutch Caribbean as needed. Uh, next slide, please. So focusing on uh, the DR, um, so, you know, the largest open market uh, in the Caribbean region, a little over 11 million people. Um, latest GDP figures that's in current U.S. dollars is, you know, about $100 billion uh, uh, last year. 
Uh, strong GDP growth last year coming in at 5%. Uh, the Dominican Republic has been consistently the fastest growing country in, in Latin America over the last 25 years. Um, a lot of bilateral trade uh, between our two countries, um, $13.9 billion uh, in imports from the US um, uh, with a large market share. And some of this, you know, the increase in trade that we've seen uh, in the last uh, 23 years or so is is as a result of, of CAFTA DR. Uh, the DR is, is a party to that agreement. Um, so that allows most products of, of US origin to enter duty free into the market. Um, so there's you know great opportunities that, that continue to grow in a growing economy um, uh, to the DR. Uh, next slide, please. So you know why are there opportunities here? Um, so you know first of all there's there's an affinity for U.S. made goods um, that is kind of a result of the proximity and the amount of travelers that that go back and forth. Uh, so 8.3 million tourists total visited the DR in 2022. That was a record year. 1.6 million came in by cruise ship. Uh, most of those come in from in um, uh, Puerto Plata in the north, and uh, you know there continues to be investment in infrastructure here to uh, host you know more tour, uh, more cruise ships and, and more tourists. So you know many of you have probably been to Punta Cana on the eastern part of the island. That's where a lot of uh, U.S. tourists go. There are direct flights there. Uh, there are direct flights to the from the U.S. to many airports in the Dominican Republic, and you know they're uh, building out additional areas uh, for cruise ships and airports, uh, both in in the north, in the Puerto Plata area, as well as in Pedernales, which is in the in the southwest. So the U.S. and, and Canada are among the top visitors uh, by far uh, to the island. Um, there's Depending on who you ask, two to three million uh, Dominicans living in the U.S. and so they travel frequently back and forth. And there's an estimated 300,000 U.S. citizens in the DR at any given time. Um, our historical ties, uh, you know, go back. You know, if you know your U.S. history, in 1870, the U.S. Senate, you know, uh, you know, almost voted to, you know, annex the, the Dominican Republic as, as part of the United States. There was a lot of historical uh, interest in the Samana Peninsula. There's a lot of Americans that lived there. Um, and great opportunities for U.S. goods. Um, so, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, lots of airports and seaports with, with direct connections to the United States. And there's a lot of demand uh, that continues to uh, for infrastructure to be built out. So there's plenty of uh, infrastructure, building supplies. Um, if you talk to anybody in construction here, you know, you know, there's a lot of imports of U.S. lumber, U.S. steel. Um, you know, expertise, those types of services involved in, in logistics and construction, and that continues to grow as the property market is, is very hot here. Um, hotels, bar and restaurant sector in 2022 grew by 24%. Um, so things really opened up in uh, 2021, um, and then that growth continued in, in 2022. And, you know, uh, all eyes are kind of on the Dominican Republic as uh, it will be hosting the Summit of the Americas in 2025. Um, that'll be a big event for the embassy. Um, and what that means is that, you know, heads of state, government delegations, um, you know, hundreds of people from the U.S. government will be coming here for summit meetings in 2025. And they can't build hotels fast enough uh, to meet that demand. And that's just going to create any, even more attention on, on the Dominican Republic and highlight it uh, even more. Uh, the Association of the Latin America Chambers of Commerce is having uh, their first uh, large annual convention since COVID. Um, that'll be uh, uh, coming up next month. Um, so there will be, you know, businesses from all over the uh, hemisphere, uh, the region that are coming here. So there's just a lot of attention, a lot of energy right now, a lot of appetite. Um, when we talk to Sheila and Maria Elena Puerto Real and others who take delegations from the Dominican Republic to trade shows, uh, we've seen a lot of demand for that this year. Um, we've, we've been able to take several delegations to very large delegations to uh, trade shows this year. They're very interested in getting out and buying U.S. products. So we're, we're excited about the opportunity here. Um, and one interest for the U.S. government right now is is on climate change and addressing the climate challenge. Um, that's an initiative that's it's run at, uh, really at the White House level. So there's there's a lot of opportunities right now and a lot of interest um, 
and supporting um, companies that are uh, have products and services related to renewable energy, wind, solar, hydro. Um, it's big in demand here. Next slide, please. So I, I would be remiss if I didn't share that there were also challenges in, in doing business here. Um, so uh, the investment climate is, is one thing that the embassy has its eye on as a matter of concern and also just a policy emphasis for us. There are a lot of measures that have been undertaken by the Dominican Republic in the last two years um, that have been very focused on uh, anti-corruption. Um, things like uh, procurement reform, public procurement reform, those are uh, initiatives of um, our embassy uh, and priorities of the current administration in the Dominican Republic, um, but it has a long way to go. And our office also supports U.S. companies uh, that uh, have various uh, investment disputes or, or, or trade disputes, um, you know, importers of U.S. products that have issues trying to get that through customs or other types of things. So that's another way that we support. Uh, we stand ready to support businesses that are exporting to the Dominican Republic. Um, the language barrier is very real. Uh, once you get out of uh, Punta Cana and, and the heavy tourist areas and places like Santo Domingo, where, where you'll be coming, um, you'll see that uh, you know it's, it's Spanish is very heavy here, and uh, you, you really need it. You need materials that are printed in Spanish um, to find partners here, and and just to be uh, aware that that's you know it's primarily a Spanish speaking market. Um, like anywhere else, you know, there's rising costs for fuel and and basic supplies. You know, you know the basic uh, necessities here, just as in the U.S. Um, but it's a little more exacerbated when when you live on an island and, and most of those materials uh, and supplies have to be imported. Um, as far as uh, financing as well uh, is, is a concern for some people who are exporting to the DR or or trying to sign contracts here. Um, because of the high debt to GDP ratio, there's, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, more of a, a concern for those that are bidding on uh, public tenders. Um, but that is something that, uh, you know, when XM Bank and, and other U.S. partners that, that are involved in financing, you know, that's something that, that they look at. Next slide, please. All right, so uh, contact information for us. So Eric Wolf, our, our senior regional commercial officer, um, you can reach out to him uh, or myself. Um, I serve as, as his deputy and uh, Eric will be departing post um, this summer. Um, well, I'll be sticking around for, for another year um, as part of my tour. And uh, we will have our new uh, senior commercial officer on the ground uh, by the time you come in September. Shayla Diaz is our primary contact um, for coordinating this trade mission. Um, she uh, does a wonderful job. Um, she will be handling logistics and answering any questions that you have and uh, be responsible for uh, coordinating the meetings um, that will take place. Uh, Shayla, if you are with us, uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Kind of looking at the list. She was having some technical difficulties earlier. I'm not sure she was able to join. Okay. Uh, next slide, please. I am, but I cannot unmute myself. Okay. Um, Shayla said hello. Oh, that's the final slide, Justin. Oh, that's the final slide. Okay. Uh, so, you know, we look forward to hosting you. Um, and, you know, please feel free to reach out to us with, with any questions or concerns. Uh, we hope it's going to be a very smooth trip and, um, you know, let us know what you need and we're happy to help. Thank you very much. Thank you, Justin, for that. That was a, a great overview and, um, uh, it, it's, it's a very uh, fast growing market and we're all excited to, uh, to go down there in September and uh, see it for ourselves. Um, just a quick uh, mention too. So as part of Tam Cold Tampa Bay, um, we also have uh, two international managers, one from Pinellas, Brent Barclay with us uh, on the call as well, and Brett Simmons from uh, Tampa Bay EDC. Um, so for those of you in the, the those attendees, uh, whichever county that you fall into, they would be your points of contact for uh, either registering for the upcoming mission or um, 
uh, any of your, you know, uh, international needs for that county, uh, those would be your points of contact. So um, we're going to move on now to uh, Sandra Campbell. Sandra Campbell is the director for the U.S. Commercial Services in the Tampa Bay uh, region. Um, she's going to give a quick overview of the Gold Key Service, which is uh, probably one of the most popular uh, services that they offer for our uh, export trade missions. And over to you. I guess, uh, thank you, Turner. Um, so I'm trying to get my video to work, but I'm not sure if it's coming on. Um, so I'm the, the director of the commercial service here in Tampa Bay. Um, you just heard from uh, Eric, Justin and, um, and Shayla's voice. Um, this are my counterparts um, that are, are on the ground in our embassy in Santo Domingo, where I am actually based in the kind of our, uh, the Tampa Bay office. So we have about 100 field offices throughout the US. So I'm a local contact here. And we work with companies uh, on a daily basis with counseling, um, assisting with any type of uh, exporting issues. Um, but then also we, we do a lot with the kind of the matchmaking. Um, so they would ask me to speak about the Gold Key service. Um, we have a variety of services that we do. I mean, anything from just like a simple contact list through anything kind of a more an advanced matchmaking, which is kind of what the Gold Key is kind of our most popular um, service that we offer. And that's used on these trade missions. Um, basically, um, with any service that we do, you're basically outlining the needs. If you're looking for a distribution partner, basically you tell us what your ideal distribution partner would be, what you think it would be, what's worked before, what hasn't worked before. Um, you kind of outline that to us. And then we actually then, even before um, we, we do some preliminary uh, research on our end, um, on the say for this case, San Domingo, but then we actually set up a call. We actually discuss it with you further. Um, is there any questions? And then once they start doing the search, um, and then they actually will do is they'll look for distributors um, based on your criteria, and then they contact them there and see if there's interest. And if there is, they actually will arrange the meetings with them one-on-one um, -on -one with you when you land uh, during the mission. Uh, all the appointments will be lined up for you. Um, so it's been a pretty successful um, uh, service that we've offered because you're actually meeting one-on-one -on -one in person, in country. Uh, the buyers know or potential distribution partners and you're serious because you're there. Um, so we do, um, this is something that we do offer. And then um, then it's kind of also after the mission, doing the follow-up, any type of follow-up support that you may need, uh, we're, we're there for you as well. Um, so yeah, the Gold Key is a pretty um, kind of efficient, very popular service that we offer. Um, and then, um, yeah, and that's something that we use through the trade missions that Commerce does um, and the Global Tampa Bay. Um, so if any questions on that, basically it is a questionnaire you complete and then we we use that to kind of do this kind of preliminary assessment, as I mentioned, and then um, and you're off and running when you, when you land on the ground, you have actually all your appointments lined up for you. So um, if you have any questions about that service or any other types of services that we offer, you know, please let me know. Uh, you know, we're here we're here to help. So thank you so much. Thanks, Sandra. And real quick, could you um, the timeline on that process from the questionnaire to being approved? Do you know generally about how long that that takes from? initial contact and the orientation kind of thing through getting approved and reviewed? Um, I mean, they, it was generally timeline. I mean, it could be anywhere from, I mean, the minimum you want is at least four weeks, but I mean, typically I've kind of seen more of the six to eight week timeline. So I know, I think for this mission is in September. So I think by early July is kind of the, what we're they're looking, we're looking at for this mission. Uh, so the more time we get, the better as far as reaching out to contacts and lining up the, the appointments especially we're gonna have a group of companies that are going um, on the mission. So, um, but we have a really good staff there, a very experienced staff in Santo Domingo. Um, and, and, and <clears throat> excuse me, with the Gold Keys, um, I, what I love about it too, is that our staff around the world, um, they're pretty honest. So if they don't feel that there's enough potential, they don't really want you to go on the mission or a Gold Key. Uh, there could be other services that we could, we could probably offer, but it's great because they kind of, they wanna make sure they, they manage your expectations, we manage your expectations, and that you're going to be going there and actually having good quality meetings. Um, so that is something that I think is very helpful for companies. Um, I mean, we do this kind of on a daily basis. We have these calls and we kind of talk through it. You know, if you've had experience selling there before, um, you know, have you sold in other countries? So we kind of go through this, this kind of uh, some different questions. And um, but yeah, so that's um, kind of the process. But yeah, I definitely want to give as much notice. But I've kind of seen the timeline and making sometimes um, uh, in general, gold keys, I mean, you want minimum like four weeks, but it really depends on the workload of the office. So that's why we always say the six to eight weeks is a little bit better. 
Great. Thanks for that. And so that's just something to keep in mind for those companies that are thinking about um, either going to the DR or, or anywhere else that um, planning ahead is definitely a, a good idea. And that honest feedback, you know, even if that market isn't a good fit for you, um, that that feedback is, is invaluable for you and your planning for the future and and knowing uh, um, the best route for your company and your product or service. So uh, thank you for that, Sandra. Really appreciate it. Um, so up next, we're going to go uh, take a look at the Small Business Development Center at USF. Um, we have Selma Connors here from the, uh, the Tampa branch. Uh, she's an international trade specialist, and they have a number of services that can help companies uh, looking to expand their presence overseas. And uh, you talk about those now. So hi, Selma. Hi. Thanks, Turner. Hi, everyone. Um, so I am Selma, and I am one of two uh, international trade specialists here at the Florida SBDC at USF. And um, what we what we do is we provide assistance to small businesses, uh, small business owners, entrepreneurs uh, in any aspect of um, their business that they uh, need assistance in at any given time. So whatever challenges you may be having in your business, uh, we have expertise levels um, to help you. We are uh, a confidential, no cost consulting that we provide. Um, and we also, uh, for international uh, trade, we provide a specialized service. It's the um, export marketing plan. And we do this together with our partners, which is the US Commercial Service, Enterprise Florida, and our um, Global Tampa Bay partners. And so what the enter what the export marketing plan does is it provides um, a roadmap for your business. So to um, identify those countries that that could have the best potential for sales um in your industry and for your product or service um so we do a lot of um research uh that is customized uh based on uh the industry what's happening with the industry in um in other countries what's driving that industry we look for indicators that would be uh relevant to your product or service and uh put together a very data rich um uh document that you can use to uh rank countries based on the indicators and the um the data that that um that we're able to find um that should give you a good um a good way to kind of identify those those top markets once uh once we've done that and once you've identified those those top markets, then we move on to the market entry um, phase, which would um, include the US Commercial Service, Enterprise Florida, um, where we kind of uh, talk about um, what what countries to enter, how is it, how are we going to make those make that market entry? Is it trade show, trade mission? Is it going to be um, gold key? How are we going to how are we going to make those connections in those countries? Um, and then we move on to having potential grants that can assist uh, in those uh, market entry strategies. So Enterprise Florida has uh, several uh, grants that are available, and we have grants that are also available through the SBA STEP grant um, program. So we have some grants that would be available to you um, to uh, reimburse you for uh, travel expenses, let's say going to a trade mission or um, you know some any kind of fees that you may need to exhibit at a sh at a trade show. So um, you can definitely reach out to us regarding um, grants available. And for this, for the Dominican Republic um, specifically, we we do have um, step grants that would be available to. Um, help you with those uh, with the gold key matchmaking um, services, for instance, or travel reimbursement to Dominican Republic. So um, you can reach out to me or any of any of the partners here on the call today, and we'll be happy to give you that information and provide um, you know more details on on that for you. And that's it.
Thank you, Soma. Um, and a good point bringing up the grants because um, a lot of uh, companies might think this is a very uh, expensive endeavor to, to, to break into a new market, but um, there's a lot of assistance out there financially and also on the planning side um, to where the burden isn't isn't very high um, between Enterprise Florida and SBDC. Uh, most of these things are are mostly covered, if not all the way covered. Um, you just have to go through the process of applying and and being approved for them. But um, uh, it's a very flexible system, I think that that covers pretty much most of your costs. And let me just say um, one thing is just make sure that you apply for those and seek out those grants prior to going Very good point. anywhere. <laughs> yes. not, so, uh, reimbursement. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's not an after the fact kind of thing. So um, just reach out to us and we'll get you on, on the right path to filling out the applications or whatever. Um, the For us, it's a letter of commitment and it's, you know, it's a pretty simple process, but just make sure we do it ahead of time so that when you come back, you can, you know, we can reimburse you for those, uh, for the funds. Great point. Great point. All right. Um, and also I see Sheila is here now too. Sheila, do you just want to say hi real quick and, and show everybody? Uh, sure. Hello, everybody. I'm Sheila Diaz. I am senior commercial specialist from the commercial service. I've been doing this for 26 years. So this is this would be my third time working with Tampa. So I'll be here to assist you through all the process. So any question you may have, please uh, feel free to uh, contact me directly and be glad to assist. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Sheila has, has worked with our group in the past and uh, we've always been in great hands while we're down there. And we expect the same uh, when we're coming down this time that everything is planned very well and everything goes very smooth. So thank you and your team and everybody down at the embassy for all your hard work on uh, on these trade missions. All right. Um, so uh, finally, we're going to have uh, Brent Barkway from the Pinellas County Economic Development uh, uh, come up and, and just give a quick overview of kind of how these trade missions go, how the DR mission is going to go, some of the, the major uh, agenda points that we'll, we'll, we'll cover while we're down there. Um, and then also, if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the chat and uh, we'll do our best to answer them uh, as they come through. And uh, after that, that will be the, uh, the, uh, the end of the presentation. So, uh, Brent, if you're able to. I think I am. Can everybody hear me? Yep. Wonderful. Okay, so I was going to try to share my screen. I think most of you probably have seen the flyer. Let me just there we go. Um, the flyer, but we've made some tweaks to it yesterday. So I think what I'll do is just walk through it, um, how these things work, and what you can expect when you come on a trade mission with us. So we will research flights, hotels, take care of all that with Sheila, with Sheila and Justin's help. Um, you know, they always recommend a nice hotel. We take care of negotiating rates and we can do the best flights. You're not obligated to go down on the flight that we choose. You certainly can go down on your own. Um, but we will tell you that there is usually a mission flight that goes down. It's easier. We have transportation at the airport. A bus picks us up, takes us right to the hotel. We grab our luggage. So if you can take the flight down with the rest of the group or you choose to, um, certainly do that. It's much easier, but you're not obligated to. You also don't have to stay in the same hotel, but please, please do. Um, the reason being uh, everything stops and starts at that hotel. So transportation, uh, if we need it, picks us up there. So you would just need to be responsible for getting the hotel on your own. So it's always easier to, and, and we always, we don't make money off this. So it's always easier to um, stay with the group if you can. So that being said, I'll kind of give you an idea of how, how it lays out. So we're gonna go down on uh, September 11th. Uh, we're still looking at flights right now, kind of the leader of those is, is an American Airlines flight that would connect in Miami uh, and then go down to the Dominican Republic. Uh, we'll get in uh, time to be determined and then we'll have a nice kind of a, a casual dinner with the group that evening. Um, so that's part of the, and the folks from the commercial service will be, um, will try to join us at that. And so that, you know, you get kind of a casual setting to ask questions and address any concerns you might have about how the day might go on. And I will say, if you choose to go on this mission, uh, the, the flyer is just a you know, point of interest. What you're gonna get before you go down there is a pretty 
uh, comprehensive document that's going to show you, you know, where you need to be, what time you need to be there, what you should be wearing. I mean, you name it, it's, it's pretty comprehensive and there, we don't leave anything to chance and, and we're with it all the way. So, um, we'll be around if there's ever any sticky points. This particular mission, uh, is going to be the meetings will be at the hotel, which makes it much easier. Uh, a lot of times in other markets, we will get cars and you'll go out to, uh, to the businesses with the traffic being the way is the DR. It's easier to have the, 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 the meetings at the hotel. So after that 1st night, we'll have a nice dinner the next morning. Um, our, our friends from the, the commercial service will come for breakfast and do a country commercial briefing. Pretty much everything you need to know about. Not only the types of businesses are there, what you can expect from the meetings, any. Anything you should know, just from a, a standpoint of how you should interact with folks. Um, so it's always very helpful. And then at that point, you'll start your 1 on 1 meetings for the day. Um, those will go the 1st day will be an all day. Uh, so you're going to be in meetings all day and depending on what the commercial service can set up from a timeline. Uh, you'll have, you know, most of your meetings that day with the remainder of the following day. That evening uh, on September 12th, uh, after your meetings are over, we're going to have a reception. Uh, typically, there's about uh, about 130 ish people at the reception. Uh, you, the people who you're meeting with during the day will also be invited, which gives you a great opportunity to not just not just follow up, but kind of interact in a more casual setting where you know everyone's just kind of having a drink and you can you can continue your conversations for the day. But there's also going to be um, invitees that the commercial service always helps us with that are just appropriate. You know, they might not have been people that are you, that you were set up with meetings for, um, but there might be some promise there enough so that they would get invited to this reception and you would just be able to talk and, and possibly do um, some further business for meetings that you didn't even have to pay for for a gold key. And that happens all the time. And I will say uh, another thing that happens all the time is we the businesses that go from the Tampa Bay area end up doing business with each other when they get back. So um, that's always a benefit. So we'll have that reception that night. That's always a big thing. Uh, and like I say, you'll you'll have all the details in your packet. Wednesday morning, you're going to have a half a day of gold keys. So you get up and you're going to have a half a day of meetings. Uh, and then we are going to feed you a quick lunch uh, at the hotel, uh, something quick. And then we're going to head over. And this is really a very popular option that we that we've done before, which is we're going to bus you over to the U.S. Embassy. And if you've never been to a U.S. Embassy, uh, they're all impressive, but the one in the Dominican Republic is is really impressive. I mean, the the most the best I've ever been to. I mean, it's really really neat. Um, it's a great place to visit. We're going to go into a room, and then the other country commercial managers from around the Caribbean will be piped in. Um, and we'll do a video call with them where you're going to have opportunities to hear uh, about the other markets in the Caribbean. If you so choose to try to, to, to exploit those or, you know, get to, to even come back down at some point, but a lot of it's, it's really kind of a neat thing. It's certainly not something you'd want to miss. So we will obviously be providing transportation, uh, to get over there. We'd go over back and forth on a bus. Um, I'm going to throw this out here right now and you're going to hear it 5 times between now and then, but um, we would need, you need your passport information to get in there. So that, that will come later on, but I'm, I never stop saying that to people because we've had people forget it and that's, it's not, it doesn't go well. Um, that evening is free. You can do whatever you want. There's certainly, there's a historic district down there. If you want to go uh, explore that a little bit, it's really a, a really a, a nice area. Um, and then Thursday morning we get up and we come back to Tampa. So, or wherever you're heading back to. So that's kind of the layout of it. And like I say, you would get all of that in a pretty hefty document before we go down. But if there's any questions at all, now's the time, let it fly. I don't, uh, unless I missed something, I don't see any, any Nothing. Of that. but, um, if any would come up, um, Sandra, if you can go back to slide two, I think it is. Our email addresses are on there. There it is. There's the email addresses for uh, each of the representatives from each county. Um, and if any questions come up, feel free to email us. Uh, after this uh, webinar, we will email email out um, 
a link to the recording in case uh, you want to share it with anybody or if you missed a piece of it. Um, we'll have the recording available and we'll also have uh, a link to the Global Tampa Bay website where you can go to uh, register your interest for the uh, trade mission. So um, as uh, uh, as uh, Sandra mentioned and also Selma, some of the programs that you uh, might want to take advantage of like Gold Key or Export Marketing Plan have timelines associated with them. So um, if you're thinking about taking advantage of any of those um, sooner rather than later is definitely uh, advised. And um, we'll also have their information in that follow-up email as well. So if you want to reach out directly to them, feel free to do that. Um, and with that, unless there's anything else, um, we will conclude there. So uh, we look forward to seeing everybody. And um, thank you very much for your time. Thank you all. Have a great day.